Hello, 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 my friends. Welcome back. Stacy here, and we have the Inked Goddess. I don't know why I did it like that. I don't know why I do anything that I do, to be honest. But we're here. Messy hair. Don't care. Stupid headbands that I'm supposed to bring back. They don't work. Can someone please invent a headband that actually, like, stays in place? Like, these things are annoying. Like, that's why they... People don't wear these. And these are like, I would like them if they would stay where you put them. But as soon as you do that, if you don't cover them with your ears, they're just like, it's already sliding back. I can feel it. Yeah. <laughs> but anywho, get to the point, Stacey. We're here for another unboxing. We're here for our Inked Goddess Creations that we just received. Actually, I received it yesterday, so... Today I received the other one I just did, which is Bounty, which was amazing. So if you didn't see the Witch's Bounty video yet that I posted before this one, you need to go check it out. Trust me, you just need to because holy cow, wow, that's all I gotta say. Wow, freaking amazing. My magical scissors. I actually cut my hair <laughs> like the ends with those scissors. <laughs> magical. I did a little a little spell if you will to make my hair grow back faster let's see if it works anyways we have the ink goddess creations so i don't subscribe to this box i kind of just like see what the month is and if i'm feeling it i'll order it um i did subscribe to their crystal of the month club which my first box was last month i think my next box will be later on this month i think they do it later on in the month um, the reason why I got this box is because I liked, I don't even know what's going to be in it, but I liked the, um, theme of it. It's don't F with a witch. So I thought that would be like cool. And it was protection magic for, um, the month of August. And it says, never underestimate the power of witches to protect themselves from the negative BS of others. August Ink Goddess Creation Box provides witches with tools to practice protection magic. So... Their material is 100% recycled material. Their boxes, I mean. Their material. I'm not tired. I haven't been up since four. Our choice to use eco-friendly packaging is our way of helping beautiful Mother Earth. This month, a portion of our box profits was donated to the American Civil Liberties Union. You can read more about them at aclu.org. So that is something that I do like about um, a lot of these boxes. They will either like donate... A portion of your box some some of them plant trees some of them um help with the water initiative um i know spiral rain she helps with some kind of um giving uh she donates to an organization organization that um gives clean water to people like that don't have it and stuff so i love all that and every month i believe the inked goddess i think she switches it up i think every month she like picks a charity if you will if that's what you want to call it right a charity is that what it's called a foundation i don't know but an initiative whatever you want to call it she um donates a percentage of your box to them which i think is awesome i love 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 anyone who's given back to mother earth by using recycled materials and anyone that's helping out other people less fortunate so i think that's amazing and yeah I'm just rambling today. So I'm thinking, oh yeah, on the back it's going to have my contents or maybe this is. So this is what it looks like when I open it. Because I'm being all greedy over here, not showing you guys. But um, there's a protection spell jar. So I'm guessing we got a spell jar this month. Excuse me. And it gives you instructions. It says you can create protection spell jars to safeguard yourself, your home. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> or from a particular person that has ill intentions. There are many different ways to make a spell jar and they can be simple recipes or personalized to fit your needs. So then it just has like, hopefully, oh, I forgot to check that. Hopefully this is not backwards, guys. I apologize if it is. I forgot to check it again. I'm too tired for this. <laughs> I'm too tired to remember things. So we just take this off and then everything is just laid out right here. And I'll give you a quick sneak peek. So this box 
oh, I think this is a $35 box. So keep that in mind. And the first thing I feel, okay, so this is a protection herb blend. Uh, blessed thistle, bay, basil, thyme, sage leaf, and juniper berries. So that's all in here. I'm not going to open it just because I'm not using it right this second. So I want to keep it inside of here. But it's in this cute little packaging paper. I love that sound. I'm such a weirdo. Up next that I see staring at me, we have three cute little corked jars. I have a thing with like jars and bottles and boxes. I don't know. Anybody else have a thing with them? I just love like cute little jars. Like these are so cute. So we have three little jars all corked and we have some burdock root in this one. Some burdock root. And then in this one, we have some garlic. It looks like, mm. Never put enough garlic in your dishes. <laughs> we have some little garlic and then we have some black salt, which you can always make yourself too. Which I've made some. You just um regular salt. I use Himalayan salt and you just use the ashes from your um incense and stuff and mix them in there. You can make your own black salt. This is cool. Protection oil, apricot kernel oil, frankincense, EO, juniper, EO, black pepper, EO. So I'm gonna actually open this. Oh, is it not sealed? Oh, CC. I wonder if that's the juniper I was smelling, or is that frankincense I'm smelling? I love this jar. Let me just say that. How freaking badass is this jar? I love skulls. So I love this jar. He's super cute. I think you guys can see it better without my hand behind it. Let me shake it up a little. Kind of smells like per is this perfume? Is that what I said? Oh, protection oil. I'm like it kind of smells like perfume. It smells okay. It's not my favorite smell. It smells all right. It's not a bad smell. I wish it smelled more like maybe like apricots or something because it does say there's apricot in here. But um, I think what I'm getting is juniper and juniper is okay, but maybe a little frankincense. But I do love the bottle. So if anything, if I won't use what's in here, I'll just make my own concoction because I have a bunch of oils and stuff that I could do but I do like this that is cute that is cute next up we have a single red candle single red candle in this I don't know why it's sealed like this should I take it out <laughs> I'll leave it like this so it's like a blood red um candle it's very dark have that. Let's see if that. Could... Oh, here's the jar we were talking about. Is that it? Hmm. We have a nice skull jar. Isn't he cute? With a little corkscrew head. Cap, I mean. Oh, this is nice and cold but yeah we have that then we can make our own little spell jar it's got a nice big opening so it'd be easy this is actually really cute i like this this might actually when i do it stay down here we have that then we have like black tax we have a little box and it says black tax Like, why is it not? Yep, and that's exactly what it is. We have five of them. Five little black tacks. Probably for our spell jar. 
Because ain't that for, is that a protection spell? Yeah. Duh, that's what they said this was. Oh my God, I need to go to bed. So we have our little black tacks for our jar, for our protection spell. We have our eclectic cards. They always give us some of these cards. So it has uses of black salt on here and black salt uses protection, banishing, reversing, hex breaker, cleansing, offering, witch tip, sprinkle black salt along your property line to keep away noisy, nosy neighbors. I like that. Black salt instructions, any salt work, ash. Oh yeah, it's telling you how to make it. Like I was just telling you guys. Then we have some protection herbs. I do like these cards for like quick reference. These are very cool. Like if you don't want to like go through all your books or whatever. So this is like cute for quick references, like general protection herbs, angelica, basil, bay, burdock root, cedar, cinnamon, clove, datura, dill, fennel, gal and gal, gal and gal. I like saying that gal and gal. Garlic, geranium, whorehound, hyssop, juniper berries, lime, mandrake, mistletoe, mullein, mullein. Mustard, mustard, hmm. parsley, pepper, onion, rosemary, sage, sandalwood, snapdragon, Spanish moss, thistle, valerian, willow, witch hazel, wood, betony. Mustard? That's interesting, right? Did you guys know mustard was a protection herb? Nails and tacks. Nails have been imported. Imp imported they have been imported they have been important in the practice of magic for centuries especially in spells used for offensive and defensive magic they can be used to protect against harmful magical energy and increase the protective strength of spell jars there are many magical uses for nails and tacks magical uses are protection and warding nail something down idea intention or project communication road opening curses hexes or baneful magic nails symbolize building a foundation inscribing tool destructive magic driving an idea into someone <sighs> driving an idea into someone horseshoe nail brings good luck and then the last one we have is our skull symbolism and it says skulls have been significant symbols for centuries and across various cultures holding different meaning while some associate them with a negativity representing death evil and mortality Others perceive them as symbols of power, rebirth, and protection. Skulls also symbolize the cycles of life and honoring death. Ancient civilizations have used crystal and skull carvings for centuries for healing, guidance, divination, and meditation. They realized that carrying gemstones with specific properties into human skull shapes increased the natural properties of the crystal and their power to affect the human mind, body, and spirituality. Using skulls and magical practice can assist you in accessing your inner wisdom and intuition. And then last but not least, oh, there's also a card in here, which is site. Thank you for your Ink Goddess Creation box purchase this month. Here is your early access to next month's theme, which is going to be Witches Site 2 or Witches Site Z. I think it's a 2. Divination is going to be September's uh, theme. And last but not least, we have this cute little purple bag. Oh, we have a crystal in here. Oh, I saw this on their website. I'm kind of glad we got this. I love keys, but we have a cute little key. Let me put it like this. We have a cute little key um, crystal. both sides so let's talk about it let's talk about it mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm gonna put all the things back in here and then we're gonna talk about it that's what we're gonna do so we have our spell jar if you want to um do their instructions or you can make your own spell jar you don't have to do what they say but if you're a beginner you know this is a nice guideline right there so we received this month's ink goddess contains protection spell oil and skull dropper bottle which i love the bottle the oil i ain't gonna lie it's not my jam it might be somebody else's it's not I don't know. I just don't like the smell of it. I'm just going to be honest. I don't like the smell of it. So I honestly, I'll probably end up dumping this out unless my hubby likes the smell of it. He'll put it in his oil burner so we don't waste it. 
Um, actually, I don't even know if you'd be able to do that. I don't. Oh, to dress candles. And... So it says spell oil can be used to anoint objects for protection, worn to add protective layer of energy around you, used to dress candles, and so much more. Bottle contains 15 milliliters. I mean, I know it's like to put on your tools. It kind of has like an alcohol alcohol smell like overpowering whatever else is in there to me like i don't know but the bottle's freaking badass i do like the bottle i like how it's like smoky charcoal looking color i do like that so i will keep that bottle and i will repurpose it then we have our gemstone key it says anoint this gemstone key with a little bit of protection spell oil and place near the main door to your home to add energetic protection to your home and those who enter it. See which gemstone chose you this month. Oh, there's different ones. Protection, magic, expansion pack. Group. Oh, so it doesn't say. It just says four cards, skull symbolism, protection herbs, black salt, and nails intact to add to your eclectic witch card deck. I don't know what this gemstone is. I'm going to have to... Do you guys know what this is? Because I don't. Don't mind my nails, guys. It's like... It's marble. There's so many colors in here. It's marbleized. It's like... Orange and red and black and white. <laughs> it's all different colors. I don't know. I'm going to have to go on there and see. I thought maybe she would have something on here that said... Like, what the keys were. Um, then we got our protection spell jar, mini book of shadows page, which was this instructions for using this box items to build your very own protection, witch bottle. Then we have a skull glass cork jar. Skulls are symbols of protection. So this witchy skull jar can be used to create your protection jar or store your favorite herbal blends in it, which will be pretty cool. I'll light it up. Uh, protection herb blend which was in here, a blend of basil, bay, blessed thistle, juniper, berries, sage leaf, and thyme to add to your protection witch bottle. Then we have our three corked glass vials, our black salt for protection, keep away nosy neighbors, and that's so funny. Burdock root protection, ward off negative energy, garlic protection, ward off psychic attack. Then we have our little box of black tacks. Nails and tacks can be used in protection spells to keep negative energy and enemies at bay. Stay over there. Stay in your lane. Dragon's blood dipped. Oh, dragon's blood. Oh, it does smell like dragon's blood. That has such a distinct smell. That is so cool. Anyway, dragon's blood dipped black candle. Oh, so it's a black candle dipped in dragon's blood. These black mini candles have been hand dipped in red wax with dragon's blood added to it to amplify your protection efforts. Sweet. So let me know what you guys thought about this month's box. Um, Before I post this, I'm, I'm actually going to go on there and... Oh my God, where'd the key go? Oh, there it is. I'm going to go on there and see um which crystal this is on their website and then I'll post it in my description for you guys in case you're wondering because it's gonna irk me because I don't know what it is and it's I don't know but I will put it in the description it's really cute you know me I love keys so yeah let me know what you guys thought of this month's don't f with the witch inked goddess box and I look forward to hearing hearing seeing your comments I'm going to go go to bed now. I think I need to eat something too. That could be my problem. I haven't eaten yet either. So I'm hangry, tired, and just a hot mess. But, you know, welcome to my world. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate you all. And I'll probably see you tomorrow because I have a couple more boxes upstairs. Um, I have Allure Beauty Box, which I... I might do that one on either my day off or a day I get out earlier because I want to try the products that are on there. I think I'm going to start doing that when I get like a beauty box. If there's like makeup and stuff, I think I'm just going to start doing like different things like that and just try them as I pull them out, you know? And then I have another box up there. I don't even know what it is, but we'll see you tomorrow. Until then, peace and love. Bye.